What if you could immediately know and identify a communication problem with a specific Modbus device on your industrial network? Would this reduce your downtime? In this video, we'll show you how ProSoft technology modules allow you to easily access and act upon Modbus diagnostic data to dramatically reduce your network downtime. The Command Error Pointer is a special troubleshooting feature that will tell you the Modbus error code of each command that is issued by the module as the command executes. We'll see how you configure this feature and take a quick look at it in action. This is intended as a supplement for our lineup of product training videos that walk you through the full configuration process. For the majority of our products, the Command Error Pointer is enabled and configured in ProSoft Configuration Builder software. An exception to this would be our MVI 56E MCM module, where the Command Error Pointer is set up in the controller tags of your PLC project. We'll cover that a little later. Also, the command error should not be confused with the error status pointer, which is another diagnostic tool that returns a wide range of status information for the entire port. In ProSoft Configuration Builder, or PCB, once I have my module selected, in this case an MBI 56E MNETC, I'll click the plus sign to expand the module configuration parameters, and then expand MNET Client 0 information. Double click on the Client 0 icon to open an edit window, and here we can change the module database options. Second from the top, we have the command error pointer. The number here is the register address in the module memory where the command error table will begin. As you can see, by default it has a value of negative 1, which will disable the command error feature. Any value other than that will define where you want to begin placing command error data in your module. You should take care not to assign a starting register for the command error pointer where it will overwrite other data being written to the module from your program. Also, if you want the error code data to be accessible by the program, it must be placed within the read data section of your module. We recommend setting the command error pointer towards the end of your read data section. So if I take a look at the module definition, my read data starts at address 0 and has a count of 600 registers. So if I were to set the command error pointer to 500 for client 0, error data will then be placed into the read 500 address. This will give me 100 registers to work with and it will be available to the program. The command error pointer uses one register for each command per client. So if you were to allot 16 commands for client 0, then when you move on to configure client 1, you would set the command error pointer to begin at 516. And then for client 2, you would set it to begin at 532, and so on. Note that this default starting register for the read data section of the module may be different depending on what module you have. For instance, the MNET C has the read data starting at address 0, as we've just seen. The MVI 56E MNET, however, has its read start register set to 1000 by default, so keep that in mind. So that is how you configure the Commander Pointer with the majority of our products. In the case of the MVI 56E MCM, you will need to access the module controller tags using RS Logics 5000 or Studio 5000 in order to configure the error pointer. So in the project, the parameter can be found under mcm.config.portNumber.CommandErrorPointer. This parameter determines where in the module's database the error codes for each command will be placed. And again, to be useful in the application, the error codes must be placed within the mcm.data.readData array. For the MCM, the read data starts at internal address 1000 with a register count of 600. That's default. We'll place the error pointer to begin towards the end of our read data. Like in my previous example, if the command error pointer is set to address 1500, then our port 1 master command error data will begin appearing at read data address 500. Now, let's take a look at the command error pointer in action. So I've already set up a command for the gateway to read data from a server device. 
My command error pointer is set to appear under my read data at address 500. The program is running and as you can see address 500 is showing a zero. The negative 44 errors that we see here for the rest of the commands are actually due to the register count being set to zero for all of them. And this is just because they haven't been set up and zero is the default value. So don't be dismayed if you see this in your command error pointer section. So if I unplug the cable from the slave device, I can see the tag turns to a negative 11 which is a common Modbus communication error code, means the slave device is not responding. If I plug the cable back in and wait for a moment, the tag returns to a zero, meaning all is well. Once you have the command error pointer set up, you can write ladder code or structured text to monitor the errors, and if any of them are not zero, an alarm can be sent up to your SCADA to inform that there has been a COM error with a Modbus device, or to set a flag on an HMI to alert operators that the values that they're seeing are stale. And that's how you configure and use the command error pointer. If you're not that familiar with the various error codes, we have another short training video that goes over the most common error codes, what they mean, and what you should check for if you're getting them. And that does it for this training video. We hope that you have found it helpful. If you have any other questions, you can contact our technical support.